the Clemson Tigers have made it back to the college football national championship game. Deshaun Watson's roadmap to this moment and this game didn't follow a straight line. Instead, it zigged, it zagged. Touchdown, Clemson! It went through Arizona. It went through New York. But most of all, it went through hell. And then the doctor told us that the had to lose my turn and now the action is is there something I had to make the decision with? That I that do I gonna lose my turn or do I gonna lose my life? If Deshaun Watson is unfazed by life, it's because his mother Deanne was undaunted by cancer. That's my that's like my rock, my backbone. I always talk to her each and every day. If I need to get away and need to get a smile, I just call her. In 2010, when Deshaun was a sophomore in high school, no one was sure if Deanne would ever talk again. What she first thought was a case of strep throat was later diagnosed by doctors as tongue cancer. I was sad, I was, I was depressed, and it was a hard time for me. It really was. She sat me down and just kind of, you know, started crying a little bit, and I didn't know what was going on. She just kind of, you know, told me, "Hey, I'm a, you know, have surgery. I'm gonna get through this, you know, and, um, you know, we're gonna come back stronger." When you hear the word cancer, though, as a 15 or 16 year old kid, what goes through your mind when it's coming from your mom? You really don't know what to think, and uh, you really don't know what to expect. You just, you know, like I said, just a lot of different things going through your head. To remove the cancer, surgeons at Atlanta's Emory Hospital had to remove Deanne's tongue. There were also radiation and chemotherapy treatments. Her recovery was long and lonely, but lonely on purpose. I wanted to talk to her and see her, but she didn't want me to come down there and, and see her in that, that condition, that situation. I was just worried each and every day. But what was it like the first time you saw her after that? It was just joy, uh, just smiles. We'll see her, hug her. I just did a hat to do the hat. Do the back up in the stand. Deanne has had a perfect view of her son's football journey. From high school star to Heisman finalist. From shooting pain to shooting a bow and arrow on Clemson's way to a second straight national title game. I just do that the never supposed to do. This the best check to them and support them the never they do. She just always been there for me. Since I was a little kid, I always told me I was uh, gonna be special. My favorite thing to tell her is, uh, of course, I love her. I don't consider myself as a hero. I just consider myself as his man.